Good day to everyone. Our lesson for today is all about rational function. Rational function is defined with f of x is equals to g of x over h of x, where h of x is not equal to zero. Consider these examples. Rational function is a function which um, identified by a fraction. The, this rational function is defined by the um, division of two polynomials. All of these examples are defined as a fraction of a polynomials. Look the number, look the example number one. f of x equals to one over x. What is the g of x? And x is the h of x. Also to the second example, x minus 5 is our g of x. And x squared minus 4 is h of x. And same as the example number 3, the numerator is our g of x and the denominator is h of x. Let's consider this the fourth example. f of x is equal to 2x over 1. We all know that 2x over 1 is considered as 2x. And this 2x is a polynomial function. Since 2x is a polynomial function, remember that all polynomial function is considered as a rational function. Since a polynomial function has a denominator that is equal to 1. And that 1 is considered as a polynomial or commonly monomial. So what is the domain of a rational function? So now, let's define what is domain of a rational function. The domain of a rational function are all real numbers except for the zeros of the denominator h of x. So, here are the example. f of x is equals to 2x plus 5 over x squared minus 25. The g of x here is the 2x plus 5 and the h of x was, e was x squared minus 25. So how to solve a domain? An example of the domain of the rational function f of x is equal to x minus 5 over x squared minus 1. So we will get again the denominator which is x squared minus 4, then equate it into 0. x squared, so the answer was x squared is equal to positive 4. So the answer is domain is equal to all real numbers x such that x cannot be equal to positive 2 and x cannot be equal to negative 2. Now we're going to proceed in determining the range of a rational function. So in determining the range of the rational function, we must first need to find the inverse of the given function. Let's consider this function. We need to find the inverse of this function. Now, we must replace f of x into y. Then, we need to interchange the variable y and x. Then, we need to find the value of y. Then, we need to distribute x to all factors. And transpose
And we need to factor out the y squared on the left side of the equation. And we need to divide it into x minus 2 to cancel x minus 2 in the other equation y squared is equal to 5x plus 25 over x minus 2. And we need to extract the roots of y to cancel the y squared. And So therefore, the inverse of the function, the given function is squared of 5x plus 25 over x minus 2. Now after we identify the inverse function of the given function, we need to find the domain of this resulting function. Our h of x is equal to squared of x minus 2. Now, in the radical equation, the radical must be um, not equal to a negative number. So, x minus 2 is greater than 0. Then, therefore, x is greater than 2. So, therefore, the range of our function is... x or no y is greater than in determining the horizontal asymptote we consider three theorems f of x equals ax raised to n plus so on and so forth over b of x bx raised to m plus so forth, where the numerator is the n degree polynomial and the denominator is the m degree polynomial. If, if n is less than m, then the horizontal asymptote is in the x-axis. If n is equal to m, then the horizontal asymptote is the line y equals a over b where a is the leading coefficient of a numerator and b is the leading coefficient of the denominator. If n is greater than m, then there is no horizontal asymptote. Instead, there is a slant asymptote. Let's consider this as an example. f of x equals 2x squared plus 5 over x squared minus 25. We can see that the numerator and the denominator has the same function of same degree which is 2. of B, which is 1. Then, the horizontal asymptote is line Y equals B. Rational functions. We have an equation of 2x squared plus 5 over minus 25. Now, for us to find the vertical asymptote, we must equate the equation's denominator with the zero. x squared minus 25 is equal to zero. We need to transpose the negative 25 to the right side for us to solve for x. Therefore, x squared is equal to 25.
So, x is equal to square root of 25, which is 5. We have an x equal to 5. So, 5 is, is our vertical asymptote. Now we're going to discuss about the intercepts of a rational function. X-intercept is determined when g of x is equals to 0. And letting h of x not equal to 0. Or simply set the numerator equal to 0. So in this given, f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5 over x squared minus 25 the numerator is the g of x and the denominator is the h of x just like what i said earlier we need to equate the numerator to zero so it would be 2x squared plus 5 is equals to zero simply transpose positive 5 to the other side to solve for x now we need to solve for x really Divide both sides by 2 to, to cancel 2 and it would be x squared is equals to negative 5 over 2. So we need to square root x squared or the equation so we can cancel the squared of x. So it would be x is equals to square root of negative 5 over 2 which simply means it is undefined. Thus, the function does not have an x-intercept and it will never cross the x-axis. Y-intercept is determined when x is equal to 0, or when you evaluate f of 0. That means f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5 of x squared minus 25 is f of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 squared plus 5 over 0 squared minus 25 that means 2 times 0 is equals to 0 plus 5 is 5 over 0 squared which is 0 minus 25 so it would be negative 5 over 25 now simplify 5 negative 5 over 25 you will get y is equals to negative 1 over 5 therefore the y intercept is 0 and 1, negative 1 over the 5. And now I will discuss the zeros of a rational function. Zeros the sum term is the same as determining the y intercept. We need to, to equate the function with the zeros. Consider this f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5 over x squared minus 5. We may, we may change f of x to 0. So 0 is equal to 2x squared plus 5 over x squared minus 5. Now we need to cross multiply the 0 to the equation. So Two x squared plus five is equal to zero. Now we have new equation, so we need to transpose the constant to zero. So two x squared is equal to negative five. Solve for x. So x squared is equal to negative five over two. Then square root, so x equal to square root of negative 5 over 2.